What's up, pretty gang? It's your favorite nail tech, Peaches, back with another video. And I'm going to teach y'all to work smarter so you can work faster, okay? Work smart, not hard. So, basically, this client came in. She needed a soak off on her toes. She needed a full set on her hands. And don't you know, she needed some more acrylic toes on her feet. So, of course, before I show you this process and how I do all of that, don't forget, you guys can um, join my channel memberships and become extra pretty. I'm going to put all of the perks and such right here and um you guys can go ahead and make the decisions as you feel necessary okay so the main thing about learning how to work faster is you got to know how to multitask because i'm going to keep it solid with you if you don't learn how to multitask and kill two birds with one stone then you're going to be slow all your life unfortunately so basically the way i do that is although my client is booked for a soak off acrylic toes and a non-basic set I personally like to go ahead and start the soak off on either hands or feet, whatever they need, and then go right into the other service. So obviously, if she needed a soak off on her hands and her feet, I would be letting her soak off together. What that does is basically condenses two hours worth of time into one hour worth of time. So as I'm doing this process, I'm basically going to finish earlier than what she's scheduled for. And with that extra time, what I'm going to go ahead and do is either run errands, I'm going to go eat, I'm going to ask the next person, do they want to come early, you know, blah, 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 go to the gym and all that stuff. So I'm not going to get too deeply into how I do soak offs and removals on toes because honestly, I get these little bandage things at my local nail supply. So don't ask me no questions. Actually, matter of fact, you can. I think you might be able to find these on Amazon. Okay. Google like soak off nail wrap and you might be able to find these. Okay. Um, but just know that I have gotten my time down to an hour for toes, an hour for hands, as long as it's my work, all right? If it's not my work, then for toes, I have an hour and a half, and for hands, I have about two hours because, baby, let me tell you, I don't know what the freak them people is doing, but it's making my job hard, soaking off they stuff, okay? So at this point, I've started to soak off on her toes. All she can do is sit and soak, but that's not what I do, honey. I'm gonna have her go ahead, put her shoes on, sit at the table, and we gotta jump right into getting her hands taken care of so if per se let's say she was getting her hands soaked off and she needed a foot service so then what would we be doing we would soak off her hands and i would have her go ahead to the couch while i do whatever foot service needs to be done now if you don't do soak offs but you do take more than one service at a time then for that i definitely suggest that you kind of just get down to business do not allow the client to kind of like take you all over america with all of their great ideas and thoughts keep them on track for like okay what is it that you want okay i see your book for this get right into the service it's okay to talk and kiki and all that because you know y'all know i'm a motor mouth obviously i do that but you have to be the one to guide the service to where you want it to go and i'm gonna be honest with you you can't keep saying i take however long i take start like pinpointing down how long do you actually take for each particular service that way clients can book accordingly and it will keep you on time so that way you're not just taking four or five hours for hands just because y'all are talking to do whatever so this is the color we're using if you guys actually want to see me do these almond nails then you're gonna have to go and watch another video because this ain't that okay this is not no tutorial at all but i do have that uh recent upload that i'll link somewhere and then wouldn't you know it i thought i was gonna start doing some nails until i realized i didn't prep nothing so i'm gonna show you guys the protein bond primer all that good stuff so at this point in the appointment um, we're probably about 25 minutes in because prep for me personally takes 25 minutes. That's I don't skip nothing or cut nothing out of that. So I am going to check on her toes because that would mean we're about halfway through her timed um, for the soak off because although she's booked for an hour for the soak off, the soaking process does not take only an hour, okay? That includes filing down, soaking, and scraping off. So then, of course, you have to go ahead and add more acetone because if you don't keep them wet, then guess what? It's not going to do not a lick of nothing and go back to what you're doing. So in the instance of, let's say you were just doing soak offs or one service, then every time you get a chance to have some free time, you know, do things like clean up. All right. So like, let's say if you were just doing hands or toes or just one service or whatever, every time you get a little bit of free time or if the client has to go to the bathroom, clean as you go. So that way, when you're done, you're not frantic and you're not using so much appointment time to clean up. So you really want to just focus again on multitasking. So that way you're constantly moving, you're constantly in motion. So that way you can either end on time or early. Okay. So by the time I was done with her nails, honestly, her acrylic on her toes was more than ready to come right off. And then I can go ahead and start her toes. So for this um, particular service, her hands were booked for probably about two and a half hours. 
Uh, acrylic toes, that's about an hour 15, and then a soak off an hour. So I guess you can say that's about four hours of time that was condensed in about mm, three and a half hours or something like that. If you want to do the math, you can go ahead and do that if you are a uh, point dexter genius, but maybe I'm not, okay? And then I get to go home early or do whatever I'm going to do. Now, I know this video was pretty quick, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm out of town, okay? I'm about to have a ball. I'm here with my twin. We having a good old time. She in the background. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. So I'm going to be half working have not um i do have other content that i'm gonna upload so i just do want to give a disclaimer this will be put out today because it's a six minute video you guys can let me know what else you guys want to see of course and i really plan on doing more videos like this i really want to help you guys um get to a point to where you're not so scared to try new things or not so scared to change the way you do stuff i know it's a lot of stuff on social media telling you guys you know charge your worth or it's okay to be slow it's okay to do this but i'm gonna be honest baby this is real life and clients are forgiving to an extent but baby they got schedules they got time to keep they got children to have okay so we have to keep in you know an open mind that it's okay if you take six hours on nails but just don't be surprised if everybody don't come back all the time okay because you got lives and so do they so with that being said i hope you guys were able to learn something for these little tricks and tips and everything like that I'm not going to lie. We're about to go out to brunch. We're about to have a, a good old time. Okay. And of course, I'm about to show you guys the final result once again, literally any second now. Boom. Here goes the final result. Of course, you guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, like, and I will see you guys in the next video.